Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new release preview video. It is finally here, release day for 2023 Tops. We've got a Series 1 Jumbo and also a Series 1 Hobby. Some of you are really going to hate this intro, but I had to do it. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Run Good here and I am a little bit late to the 2023 Top Series 1 release party, but I figured I'd let everybody else have their fun because I have a little bit of a different idea that I want to take with my Series 1 video this year. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and as always, I appreciate a like on my content. I actually came up with this idea um, a little while ago when I saw a SGC actually put out a special for Series 1 and their special is that they will grade any card on a four week turnaround time for $9 a card from this product. A very special promotion that they are running with tops. And so I decided let's go back to the roots of the channel and let's see if we can make money opening this product. So the game plan here is today we are going to open a, a hobby box and a jumbo box of series one. Of course, this product did drop last week, last Wednesday while I was on vacation. Um... It is a rite of passage. It is Series 1. I do not need to explain anything to you. Print runs are up. They're, they're, God, they're up. Um, but man, it is a fun product. And uh, we are going to rip a couple boxes today. And then anything that I think is gradable that could be worth, you know, five, ten dollars or more, it may be more in an SGC slab, you know, 20 plus dollars in an SGC 10. We're going to send that off to SGC and pay nine dollars a card to grade it. Everything else we're going to try to assign a value on and sell it all at once at the end of this video. This video is going to be very long, I, I, maybe 40 minutes or longer. Um, so don't need to talk too much about the products. My price points uh, paid about uh, $65 a box for Hobby. I believe they are now selling for $85 to $90. Uh, paid $150 for my uh, Jumbo, or actually $145 I think. For my Jumbo, they are now selling for 180 Jumbos are the best configuration of Series 1 this year. Uh, just in terms of the hit odds, there are some people in the hobby far, far smarter than me who have put out spreadsheets as to the cost of each hit or whatever. You know, you open X number of product until you get a certain number of hit. Jumbo is by far and away the best. One autograph and two relics per. In the hobby box, you get one, uh, one autograph or relic per. So Jumbo is the way to go. I uh, would avoid retail altogether unless you got a scratchy itch or you cannot afford hobby hobby definitely the way to go jumbo the way to go retail the odds are just so much worse that unless you just want to you know open packs or chase the base rookies value is going to be few and far between so like i said the plan today is to open both of these boxes and uh anything that is remotely gradable any numbered stuff any cool inserts any rookies Anything that is remotely gradable uh, will uh, will be headed off to SGC, and we are gonna see where for uh, for what we are in for the price of the products uh, if we can make our money back or not. So uh, we are gonna get a silver pack, and then all of these packs. Man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a long video. And uh, before we get into it, just one quick point of business: I do have to show off uh, some recent mail days from uh, some members of our community. And uh, almost totally forgot. Now, I want to show off these because they're awesome. Uh, the first one came to me from uh, Adam in our community. And Adam recently, uh, Adam's on a whirlwind in our group breaks. Hit a $9,100 bounty. Our biggest bounty ever hit a $9,100 bounty. He also hit a Julio and Griffey to 10 from Flawless. And uh, he sent along a letter. I'm not going to read this letter to you. Kind of personal and kind of sappy. Uh, talked about getting back into the hobby and me being a big influence in that. So, uh, but he did want to send this along for my PC. Nice Kenneth Walker Origins. So thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate that. And then got one other uh, thing in the mail. And, and I've had others, so I apologize if I'm not featuring yours. Um, but this one was pretty cool. This was from Jackson. He said he'd like to give me these Mariners cards. Uh, so Jackson, I appreciate it. Sent along a Hanniger for my PC. Sent along a Kyle Lewis. 
And then he sent along these, which are so much cooler. And these are custom cards. So Future Stars of Kellenic Logan Gilbert Future Stars. And you can see the custom work behind it. And then a Kyle Seeger. So hey, hey Jackson, thank you so much. These are much, much cooler than the other two cards you sent along. So I'm going to display these in my office somewhere. That being said, we have a whole bunch more baseball cards to get into today. Uh, one caveat. So we are doing a financial inspired video which means that if we pull a card that is over $100, I'm just going to completely disregard it because that's not going to be the typical experience for most people opening this product. Those hits do exist in hobby and jumbos and in retail. They are few and far between. So in order to make this kind of a true video that anybody could do, the average box of tops, can you make money on the average hobby box, the average jumbo box? We're just going to uh, disregard any $100 plus dollar hits because obviously that would make back a big chunk of our money. Again, we're in for about $240, $250. Let's say, let's say $250 in this market because, again, Jumbo is currently selling for $180. Hobby about $90. Uh, I got them for less. So let's say $250. So we're trying to make $250 uh, in value back. So here is our uh, here's our silver pack. These are going to be uh, Chrome stock or, or whatever these are. Uh, Mojo stock. Uh, I don't. I can't remember uh, what they officially call. Them. 87 tops design this year. Terran Vera. That is not the Oriole rookie we are looking for. But hey, let's go ahead and send this one off to grading first. That is Mike Trout. That is going to be our first grading candidate. Centering looks decent on that one. So again, we're going to pay nine dollars to get this one graded. Uh, SGC 10. I would imagine probably like 25, 30 bucks out of the gate. So I like that one. Uh, I don't see anything else that's really gradable. Two Orioles rookies and not one single one named Adley. All right, we have a lot of tops to open today. A whole lot of tops to open. Um, you know what? In order to speed this video up, I'm going to go ahead and start ripping all of these packs open like this. And then I know, I know some of you aren't going to be happy with this decision. You want to see every pack open individually. But this video is going to be very long as it is. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and shave some time off. I'm going to speed up the video right now and open all these packs. Alrighty. So uh, yeah, that's typically something that we don't normally do in these videos. But just to shave off a few minutes because I know this one is going to be super duper long. I already see something cool on this side, so let's go ahead and start looking. Here's the design. I know I'm, I'm a week late with my video, um, so we don't need to talk too much about the design. Let's go ahead and start looking for cards that we would send off to SGC. Uh, we've got, ooh, we got some backwards. No, that's not what we want. We don't want to do much orientating in this video. I guess we're going to do some orientating in this video, aren't we? Uh, Cal Quantrill right there. Uh, got not gonna read off names either uh, just because we're seeing so many cards today Here is the design. I will say on the design every 20 years Penny or uh, Panini every 20 years tops does a dual photo design some people love it Some people hate it uh, last time we saw a set like this was 2003 and then 1983 of course everybody knows the 83 design I think 63 too uh, Jeter down centering looks uh, on base. Are we gonna send nine dollar cards off for base? We'll put that in the maybe pile. Maybe we'll put that in the, the graded maybe pile. Here's my dude right there. Probably his last Mariners card of his career, or one of them. Mitchell Evan Hanniger, now a Giant. Send it off for grading? Nah, let's not. Uh, we've got a Chris Br oh, Chris Bryant is gonna be an 87. Thought we had something cool there. Forgot we have uh, orientating. We have quite a bit of orientating today. We are looking for these short prints. They are labeled as such. There's also the gold short prints as well. What do they call them? Like gold mirror or something like that. So uh, that is a big chase trying to put together. I think there's a handful of people trying to put together the entire gold mirror set. All 330 uh, cards each have a gold mirror uh, short print, which are going to sell for quite a bit. Those are a big chase. Uh, that's a cool one right there. League leaders with Judge and Bogerts. Uh, Baltimore Orioles. Jazz Chisholm, who was on the cover of the show this year. Bunch of orientating. Uh, future stars of O'Neill Cruz. There's Pete Alonzo. There's an Adley Cup rookie. There we go. There's our first Adley. That one is absolutely going to head off to SGC. 
So no ifs, ands, or buts. That one definitely going to be one of the cards that everybody sends off to SGC for $9 a card. So I don't know. SGC 10 might sell for 20 bucks, Maybe more. We'll see. Ivan Herrera right there. Another rookie. Uh, probably going to avoid sending in base rookies. We're looking for things like inserts, numbered cards, Miguel Vargas rookie. Um, but Adley, we got to send in the top rookie in the set. Little damage on that one, actually. Uh, Seth Lugo. Jake DeGrom. I uh, don't need to be saying that. One two punch insert Aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler. Got some backwards cards we need to orientate. Gavin Lux. Matt Duffy. Uh, Palen Palacios. Tatis right there. That's going to be a rookie of Derek Hall. Blake Snell, Lennon Sosa rookie. Uh, Kyle Bradish. We have a ton of cards to look at today. Just a ton of cards to look at today. So sit tight. It's going to be a long video today. No clue how long this one's going to take. Uh, Nolan Gorman rookie centering looks not great, but we'll put it in the maybe pile uh, to send off for grading. Maybe a Nolan Gorman gets 20 bucks, so $9 to grade. We make, you know, $50 profit or $10 profit on the card. Not bad if it's a $20 card. If it's a nine, we probably break even or lose a couple bucks. So we're not trying to lose money on grading for sure. One, two punch again for the Cardinals. Might lose my voice in this video. There's going to be a lot of talking. Uh, Buddy Kennedy rookie right there. There's a Stephen Kwan cup. Not a short print. I guess I'll have to go back through all my base at the end just to make sure that I didn't miss any short prints. Uh, leave it to our rookie right there. Uh, typically, they do a good job. Rookie of Michael Harris. That one looks pretty well centered, so that one will be sending off to grading. If the grading pile gets too big, we might have to trim it down. We'll just have to see. Uh, got some more base backwards. Uh, Farmer. Wainwright. Tristan Casas, rookie. We'll put that in the pile. Maybe, 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 maybe. We'll see. Just trying to make our money back. Trying to see if we can make our money back on two average boxes. Um, obviously, if they're crazy, that's... Uh, welcome shower for Buxton. I thought that was going to be a short print based off the photo, but it is not. And then, uh, that's a cool one too. All right, let's go ahead. I see something sparkly in this, in this, uh, last little pile here in the first half of the box. Just a ton of cards. Gunnar Henderson. Um, nah, probably not. Had to think about that one for a second. Joey Votto right there. some base that is wow well that one's going to grading andrew jones to 25 that is a tough pull Ooh, i don't know if we can grade that one uh the edges look pretty pretty rough to me but man that's a good auto from a hobby box andrew jones team color to 25 on the 87 auto on card it well as well but you can see the uh, the red border leaves nothing to hide. You see some edge wear on this card. So unfortunately, it's not one with, that we can grade. But it will go towards our total of uh, total value for the box. Andrew Jones, 1 of 25. I would imagine off the top of my head, probably like a $25 to $30 auto, if not more. I don't think it falls above the $100 range. But man, for Series 1, that is a good hit. That is a good hit for my first hobby box of Series 1 this year. Andrew Jones on card, $25 card right there, if not more. I would be shocked if it was any less. And uh, we'll keep it on rolling. Wow, that's a good one. There's a J-Rod Cup. I'm going to assume this is probably one that we should consider grading. Keep it on rolling. Max Castillo, man, that was a good hit. JJ Blade rookie right there. That's a cool one too. Judge walks it off in 10. What is this? That is, oh, that's an Aces. That is an Aces Dylan Cease. What do you guys think? Should we send that one off for grading? I think a lot of people probably send this off. Uh, let's see how many of these we get. This one would be tough to grade with the uh, edges the way they are. So maybe 10s would come at a premium. Not the best name. Uh, good name right here. We have an Ivan Herrera rainbow foil. That one we will send off to grading. Looks good to me. As of a uh, first little glance right there. 
Uh, Michael Grove, there's your Mike Trout for Series 1 right there. Believe everybody probably sending that one off, so let's uh, let's follow suit. Let's send ours off as well. See if uh, Gerard Encarnacion. I don't remember if he. Um, I don't remember if he's too hyped or not. I know his prospect cards were selling for quite a bit for a little while. Uh, we've got a to two ninety nine. That is going to be an orange of uh, Nick Pavetta. Orange ice, I believe. Orange. Yeah, I think they call him ice. Orange Ice of Nick Favetta. Probably not a name that I would consider grading, though. Where are we at? Card number one in the set is Juan Soto for the Padres. We did get card number one right here. Not one we would grade, of course. Jonathan Daza, Altuve. All right, well, we have a ton more cards to go, including a jumbo box, so sit tight. We are not going anywhere. Like I said, this one's going to be very long. And we are going to see, there's going to obviously be an update video as well, but we are going to see if we can make money on an average box of Series 1. And I would say these two boxes are already not necessarily average. Uh, we have Jose Abreu on the 87. Hunter Brown, rookie right there. Uh, Devers. Just a ton of cards. Tariq Scoot, oh, no, more base that we have to orientate. Hopefully we don't miss any short prints. Cal Mitchell rookie right there. Ryan Mountcastle. Uh, Steve Walker. Man, just a ton of cards. So if set building is for you, I don't really need to say much. I don't need to hype up Series 1. It is what it is. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with Series 1, either you don't collect baseball cards or you are very new to the hobby because Series 1 is a rite of passage. Everybody has to rip. Everybody has to rip at least one hobby box of Series 1 a year, in my opinion, as a baseball card collector. Just a, just a rite of passage, you know? You don't rip it for the value, you just rip it because it's literally because it's Series 1, that's it. That's the good enough reason. Uh, Pujols, I love that. Love that photo right there. Calling it a career. Kate Cavalli, rookie. A Jonah Bride, rookie. So with this product, they do have to speculate on who's going to get called up this year and who are going to be the top rookies. Usually they get most right. Uh, don't know about Marcus Wilson for the Mariners. Uh, sometimes they, do, they don't. 87 is going to be Acuna. Sometimes they get it wrong and these guys don't get up this year and we kind of have a rookie card without uh, playing that season every once in a while. Michael Massey right there. Hassan Kim Graham Ashcroft. I think he was Justin Bowman not too long ago. Graham Ashcroft, I remember that name. AJ Mentor, uh, more league leaders. All right, coming up to the final quarter of this hobby box. It has been pretty, pretty good so far. Haven't seen any short prints yet, so I'm, I'm hoping we see a short print here and hoping it's easily identifiable so I don't have to go back and look through the base. That is going to be a 2022 greatest hits of Buxton. Cool looking card. I don't think I would grade a Byron Buxton personally. Uh, Ethan Small, Christian Pache, Swaggerty. Uh, we got a rainbow foil here. That is going to be Yadier Molina, who called it a career. Cool looking photo on that one too. Kind of tipping the cap to the crowd. That is one that I would consider grading. I'd pay $9 to grade that. Maybe his final card in series one for a while. Why not? There's my dude, the big dumper right there. Future stars of Kyle or Cal Raleigh. Riley Green, rookie for the Tigers. Probably not one I would consider grading. George Kirby, future stars. We like George Kirby up here in the PNW. Uh, we've got a Christopher... Oh, more backwards cards. Christopher Morrill, rookie 87. Uh, Leo Pagora, rookie. Interesting. Oh, Toronto. It's blue. I was like, why is there an MLB logo right there? Why is there not a team logo? Uh, Class A. Alex Cobb, Josh Naylor, Austin Meadows. We have a uh, home run challenge card. Are people going to grade these? I don't know. Are people going to grade home run challenge cards? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess and assume that not many people send those in. I, I don't know at nine dollars a card. What what are people sending in for nine dollars a card? Great question for the comment section right there. 
So let me know what you're sending in to SGC for $9 a card grading. Four-week turnaround time. Vaughn Grissom, that is one that I'm going to send in. Uh, Brett Beatty. Ooh, on the fence about Brett Beatty, but I think we'll, I think we'll pass. Uh, Bobby, oh man, I thought we had a short print. I thought we had a short print right there. But uh, we got trolled by some orientating Zach Thomas. Uh, Bobby Witt Cup, not going to send that one in. Even though I really like Bobby Witt, I think he's going to have a strong year. Not so not so good on not so high on that particular card. Not for 9 bucks anyways. Uh Seth Beer, Bobby Witt on the 87. Hmm. So the inserts are there's going to be less inserts than there are base cards obviously. Centering is not great on that one. Thick on the yeah, probably probably not. I will put that in the the non-graded hits pile though. We do have one of those started up. We have a pile for everything else. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep it on rolling. Nick Prado, rookie right there. Trevor Rogers. Keep thinking we're... Every time there's a backwards card, I'm like, oh, that's a short... Nope. Nope, those are just cards that need to, need to be orientated correctly. All right, coming up to the end of our hobby box, we still have a whole jumbo box to go in this video. Jeez, a lot of a lot of cards today. Probably the most cards we've done in a video in a long time. Oswaldo Peraza rookie, Yankees rookie. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. Uh, we've got a Bryce Harper greatest hits. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it at nine dollars a card. It's tempting to just do a ton of cards for nine dollars a card. There's my dude Danny Burgers. I bet if I send this card off to grading, I would be the only. No, oh, for the PC, nine bucks. For the PC, nine bucks. Why not? Danny Burgers, love love me some Daniel Vogelbach, Luis Arias, and there is your Wander Franco Future Stars. Not gonna send that one off. Not as high on Wander as as some other people. All right, so that was a look at our hobby box. Uh, here were our hits, uh, non gradable. Uh, but Andrew Jones was our one auto or mem per box to twenty five. That is a very very strong hit. And then we had a Nick Pavetta to two ninety nine. We're not gonna grade. Bobby Witt on the 87 and uh, found a bunch of cards that I want to consider grading. Um, so going to have to trim this pile down a little bit. But as of right now, this is the maybe pile. Anything that I sleeved up is the yes pile. Uh, Trout is a yes. Yeah, I think as of right now, these are all Michael Harris is a yes. Nolan Gorman, Adley was a yes. Jeter Downs was a maybe. So these are the maybes. We'll, we'll come back. We'll re. Nope, that's a yes. Um. These guys are all, mm, Vaughn Grissom was a yes. Those are maybes. These are these are graded. Uh, and we have a whole jumbo to go. So uh, let's uh, look at more cards, shall we? Because now we have a jumbo. And like I said, long video today. Probably one of the longest videos you're going to get all year long. Typically, I don't like to do videos up over 30 minutes because they do, uh, algorithm does not like them very much. Uh, we have an oversized Clayton Kershaw. Not going to send that one off to grading. We are going to get two silver packs. And then here is our, I believe, 10 jumbo packs. 44 cards. 440 cards. So, man. We're, we're looking at some cards today. Um, Pack odds are not on the box. I forgot about that. They're on the pack. All right. Let's do our two silver packs this time around. See if we can find a numbered card or an auto. Salvador Perez, uh, Don Mattingly, Buster Posey for the PC, and Javi Baez. Nothing worth sending off to grading right there, I don't think. All right, pack two. So Javi boxes, you get one silver. Jumbos, you get two. Barry Larkin, cool name right there. Uh, Shea Langlier's rookie. Cabrian Hayes and Josh Winkowski. Yeah, nothing... Nothing worth sending on in right there. All right, time to get into these massive, massive bricks of Series 1. Gonna have to go through all my base, look for my short print, see if we got a short print in the last box because I did not see one initially. Hopefully everything will be orientated the right way in this pack, though. We'll see. Christopher Morrow. There's another Juan Soto, so I'm, I'm gonna assume... We see a lot of uh, a lot of back or a lot of duplicates this time around. A lot of duplicates this time around. Zach Thompson, 
Bobby Wade Cup. Uh, we've got a uh, rainbow. These are going to be jumbo exclusives with a horrible, horrible corner right there. Taylor Rogers. 30 30 club of David Wright. Chris Bryant. Let's see if we can't get any top rookies to send in. Nick Prado. League leaders. More league leaders. We're not in the right run right there. There's my dude Mitch again. They got to keep reminding me that Mitch is no longer a Mariner. I can't believe they didn't re-sign him. Jerry, what are we doing? Come on. I can't wait to see him for San Francisco. My favorite team. I have two favorite teams. I've always had the Mariners and the Giants. My family's from the Bay Area. So uh, it couldn't have been better for him to go there. But man, I, I wish he would have stayed a Mariner. I'm just so sad about that. Uh, Cody Clemens, Tyler O'Neill, Von Grissom. I'll probably go in our grading pal. One auto and two mems, I believe. Uh, that is going to be a rainbow foil featuring Freddie Freeman, O'Neill, and uh, Jeff McNeil. Freddie Freeman, Paul Goldschmidt, and O'Neill. Mm, maybe. Uh, Major League Materials, our first materials is going to be Wander Franco. For $9, should we send a Wander Franco off for grading? Why not? For $9, will we send a Mike Trout 2022 off for grading? Sure. Why not? Let's flood the market. We're gonna pay we're gonna pay more in grading than we are gonna be for these two boxes. But hey, that's part of the game today. That's part of the game today. Will we lose some money on some cards that we grade? Sure. But as long as we win more than we lose, uh, we'll be good. We need we need a little bit of luck in our favor, but um Yeah, we'll just have to see how this goes because obviously there will be a second video when I get the cards back from grading. We'll do a grading reveal and we'll look at the market and see what they are all worth. And uh, we should be able to figure out if we made money or lost money. So just because we're in these two boxes for $250, that is not where this story ends. Because once we pay those grading fees, we are going to be in for that much more. But should be able to try and figure out where we stand. Um, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to put a price on all of the cards that I'm not sending off for grading. And we're going to sell them all. So if one person is interested... Uh, will be a very fair price. I uh, don't think uh, we're going to find anything too crazy. I don't know. Maybe we will find something crazy. Uh, every, anything that's crazy, we're going to send off for grading. So, Mike Trout right there. Uh, why not? Why not? It's Trout. Trout stuff sells. Even in SGC9. Worst case scenario. Even in SGC9. Uh, Robbie Ray. Uh, going to be a rainbow foil. Chipper Jones is going to be a blue. Is that going to be like a hobby exclusive or jumbo exclusive? Chipper Jones. Shout out to my dude, Matt. Um, Put that in the maybe pile. Put that in the maybe pile. Cedric Mullins, 30 club. Christopher Morrell, 87. Adley rookie right there. Centering is really, really bad on that one. So we'll put that in the non-graded hits pile. Yeah, centering was not good on that one. We can't we can't send off cards that we don't think are gonna ten. Uh, we can't we can't do that. That's my own personal policy. Is I won't send off a card to grading if I don't think it'll gem. Very few circumstances otherwise. But um, sometimes I'll send them off if I think it'll be a nine. But uh, Derek Hall, Beatty. Losing my voice, talking too much. My wife wants me to shut up, probably. Lucky for her, I'm not going to want to talk after I'm done with these videos. Uh, Max Freed is going to be a rainbow foil. Mm, centering is not good on that, that one. We've got, uh, that is going to be Seth Brown to 2023. Not worth grading based off of the player. What is this? We have a Alex Bregman commemorative team patch. I think I've seen these on uh, eBay. That's the old, old Astros logo, though. What do you guys think? Should we spend $9 to grade this? Why not? Mm, man, I can't bring myself. Those patches are never worth anything. We have another Aces of Clayton Kershaw, though. I'm going to roll the dice and send those on over. Joey Votto. Jonathan Aranda, rookie. Again, just starting to see doubles at this point. Mark Eppel. Uh, Kyle Stauer, rookie. Kyle Gibson, rookie. All right, first half of the box is down. 
Even though this one had more cards, it seems like this was easier to rip than, uh, easier to rip than the hobby box. Let's see what we find here. JJ Bladé, rookie. Let's see if we can find a short princely over Pagora. Uh, Ozzy Albies is going to be a rainbow foil with a ding in the upper, right up there. Nice little ding. Uh, we have the Rangers. That is going to be numbered to two ninety nine. Uh, centering, ugh, centering is not the best on this one, but it is to two ninety nine. So I think we're going to send it off to SGC and try to get twenty bucks out of it. Uh, Clemens and Musina. Uh, Cunha on the 87. Another Vogi. Only need one graded Vogi, not two. Uh, Brian Balo, rookie. Oswaldo Peraza on the rookie, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to spend too much on grading, but I also want to try to see if we can make our money back. So, what's funny is, you know, we could have hit just $250 in cards, and I guess that would be, yes, we made our money back. But I think a fun component to add to this challenge is to try to send off, you know, 10 to 30 cards off to grading. I, I have no idea how many we're going to send off. At the end of the video, I'll go through. I'm also going to have to go through all of this base and look at the backs to see if I missed any short prints. And I have a feeling I did. Uh, Kid Cavalli right there. Uh, Michael Massey. Uh, that is going to be a Tyler Stevenson rainbow foil. Not worth sending off. Corbin Burns is going to be a green ice. Number to $4.99. Mm. Centering is not... Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Pujols. Uh, Bobby Witt. I noticed... I don't think I've seen a... Have, I, have we seen a Nolan Gorman? Maybe. Have we seen a Shohei base card yet? They might be saving him for a series two. I don't know if I've seen a Shohei yet. Uh, AJ Minter. All right. Still have not seen. We've seen both of our member. We've seen the Bregman and the Wander. We haven't seen our auto yet. Still looking for our auto in this box. Uh, Mount Castle right there. Steel Walker. Great name for a major leaguer. Hunter Brown. So many cards. Okay, Cavalli starting to see duplicates in the same box. Uh, Carlos Rodon is going to be a rainbow foil. Not one to send in. Home run challenge of Schwarber. Uh, maybe. Cool card from uh, Mariners right there. Mm, not going to send it in even though it's a blue. Aaron Judge greatest hits. Probably send it in. And $9 a card. It's just hard to say no. Uh, Nolan Gorman, rookie. Consider it. And uh, yeah, we're down to uh, three packs left. I'm, I've am i seen a lot of cards. We're going through a lot of cards today. Maybe, maybe doing a jumbo and a hobby in the same, same video wasn't the best idea. But here we are. Deep into the thick of things. And uh, coming, we're going to finish strong, so. Long video today. Very, very, very long video. Christopher Morel. Escobar. Zach Thompson. Uh, Kyle Bradish is going to be a rainbow. Not going to send that one in. Keegan Thompson to 2000. Wait. Wait. Keegan Thompson. Yep. Yeah, it's just hard to read the serial number on there. To 2023, probably not going to send that one off either. Vladimir Guerrero, Senior, 30-30 Club, Arenado. Oscar Gonzalez. Seiya Suzuki. I'm going to have shoulder problems after, after doing this with all these cards. Uh, there's another Mitch. That's the third Mitch I've seen. Tops is just taunting us at this point. Two packs left. We still have not seen our auto in this box yet. 
How about a Babe Ruth cut? <laughs> how, how insane would that be? Babe Ruth cut. You know, last week I hit the Babe Ruth game used. Just uh, give me a Babe Ruth cut to go along with my game used Babe Ruth from uh, Sterling. Why not? No short prints yet. Interesting. Ah, Rainbow Martin Perez. Camilo Doval, and there is our auto right there. Camilo Doval is going to be to 2023. Probably not worth grading. JJ Blade is going to be our auto. JJ Blade on the auto. Uh, definitely one that we will send off to grading rookie auto. Uh, we have a Aces of uh, Julio Urias. Sonny Gray on the 87. I'm just a little surprised Tristan... Uh, okay. Two Tristan Casas. Is that a sign to send them in for grading? That was that was interesting. Uh, Michael Harris, rookie right there. I might have skipped a Michael Harris. That's only the second time I've seen that one. Might have went fast through some of those. And, uh, yeah. My bad. If I missed one, it's okay. Because we have plenty of cards to send off to grading. Final pack, last chance to hit something crazy. Although we did pop the Andrew Jones, which was a pretty crazy auto out of hobby. Hats all messed up. Feeling like I'm in a marathon right now. Just a marathon of cards. There's a Shohei. That's a cool picture, too. I'm wondering if we had a Shohei in Series 1. It would have been surprising if we hadn't. Uh, Jeter Downs, rookie right there. Should I send off this Tyler Molly after after dropping him? What do you guys think? Uh, Juan Franco Cup right there. Future Stars. Cal Mitchell. Gavin Sheets. Uh, Albert Pujols. Koi Seager is going to be a rainbow foil. Uh, not worth sending in. Carlos Rodon, and I think that's going to do it for us. Gunnar Henderson. Julio, why not? And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the box. All right, so the next thing that I need to do, let's go ahead and speed up the video once again. I have to look through all of our base cards and look for short prints by going through the backs and doing this and orientating. Looking for that SSP, seeing if we missed one. So I'll catch you guys in uh, about 15 seconds, but this is going to take far longer than far longer than 15 seconds. So catch you all in a couple All right, so that took a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but I think we have it all figured out. No short prints. I'm, I'm very surprised. We opened a hobby box. We opened a jumbo box. No short prints. Typically, in my experience, you get about, on average, you get about a short print per hobby box. So I'm, I'm very surprised. Print runs, obviously, to the moon. Um, I think this is our grading pile right, right here. I went through everything. I did have to eliminate a few because I saw minor corner dings on some. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Totally unintentional. So, we spent $250 on the boxes. We're going to spend $270 to grade. $520 is officially the number that we have to make on these 30 graded cards plus everything else so let's go ahead and uh sell everything else right now i have a hobby box and a jumbo box everything you saw in the video that is not that plus is not this because i'm going to sell this individually on its own we'll report back on the sales uh so all of this plus some of the stuff that i said had minor corner dings the von grissoms the tristan casas all of this um Adley did have a corner ding, unfortunately. Uh, and then the commemorative of Bregman. Let's say I'm trying to throw a price on all this. Shipping of all this is going to be eight bucks. Let's say, let's say uh, forty bucks. Let's make thirty-two dollars right here. So, shipping is going to be eight dollars priority. If anybody wants this, shoot me an email, rungoodcards at gmail.com. We'll just say thirty-two bucks for the whole lot. Thirty-two dollars profit. Take that away from the. 520 we now have to make uh 488 dollars 
off of this card and then whatever these end up grading. This is going to be a very fun challenge. See if we can make uh, $480 off of these 30 cards, which means we would have to average 480 divided by 30. Can't do math off the top of my head. Little over $15 per card. The, the Danny Burgers is in there just because I love Danny Burgers. Um, so we have to make 400 and what would I say? $488 or something like that off of those cards. I will be sending them off to SGC. I expect in about a month or so we will have that grading reveal and try to see how much of those are worth those 30 cards. Um, they're low dollar cards, so we're going to have to see $9 a grade though. So as long as we can clear $9 a card, that's that's profit for us. That's good. That's, you know, otherwise, you know, we'll see. We'll see. This is going to be an interesting challenge. That is going to do it for this video. Uh, if you're watching this a day or two after release, I assume somebody will scoop that up. Somebody wanting to put together sets or somebody who saw something in there that they wanted. Again, here were some of the hits that we could not grade. I'll flash through those again, plus everything else. So the, you, you are getting some golds. Uh, you're getting a Pavetta, and then, of course, a ton of base being shipped out your way. That's going to do it for me. Be on the lookout for part two next month. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you for watching this super long video, and we will catch you next time on Down the Road.